Do you know what is that one thing to do after getting back your chemistry results? But before we go into that one thing, I need you to understand this. Don't be too affected by your results. Why? I want you to treat your result as a form of feedback. Feedback to what? Feedback to your way of preparing for chemistry exams. If you score well, great. Keep your both feet on the ground, stay humble, have your friends around you. But if you didn't score as well, don't be discouraged because this video is specially created for you. In life, we have this principle called the cause and the effect. And let me give you a quick example. If you eat too much food, over a period of time, we call this calorie success, you will put on weight. If you eat too little, over a period of time, we call it calories deficit, you will lose weight. If you prepare your chemistry exam in a certain manner, you will score a certain kind of grades. But please, do not prepare your next exam the same way and hoping to do better because that's the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again expecting different results and that's not gonna happen. So what is that one thing you must do? Let me go into it right now. In fact, after doing this alone, it will help you to study chemistry faster, smarter and easier. And the thing is too, analyze your mistakes. And even if you fail, it's okay. Fail forward. But you can only fail forward if you know why you fail and most importantly, where your mistakes are. Then you will ask, what are the kind of mistakes out there in chemistry? After coaching more than thousands of chemistry students in Achiever's Dream, we discovered that there are four categories of mistakes. Let me go into them right now. Alright, there are four categories of mistake. And mistake number one, I don't know, did you leave your last two page blank? Or you didn't complete your paper? You lost 20 marks because of this? You find it familiar? It's not your fault. But you will need to be fair. You need to allocate equal time for all the marks. And we recommend in Achievers you one minute per mark. Alright, this is the first error. The second error, you'll find it familiar as well, it's called careless mistakes. Do you forget about the three significant figures? Do you panic during exams? You wrote the wrong thing, you got mind blocked, or worse, you carelessly fell asleep in exam. Mistake number three, conceptual error. Do you say things like covalent bonds are weak, metallic bonds are weak as well? I don't know. I don't know what you don't know. Uh, but this, uh, there are certain concepts you just didn't manage to remember them. I am not clear. Alright, when you go through your own papers, you need to know exactly what are the concepts you need help. That's where you need to specify them, list them down, and you will have a clear direction on how to improve in chemistry. Mistake number four, and the final mistake, I call it application error. There are some questions you will just have to practice in order to score them. You need to be exposed to this kind of question, alright, before you meet them in exam, so you won't be surprised. And the next thing is this, are you studying chemistry, like how you study for humanities, you can read and write notes, memorize them, or you are studying chemistry like me? You are constantly practicing, getting more and sure of the concepts. Alright, and once you do practice like math, okay, you will be able to apply them confidently. And that's where you know you'll be able to score well. Can you see? Once you have categorized your mistakes, you'll be able to prepare for the next exam better, score better. Make sense? If you like this Achiever's Dream Secret Mystics Revealer template that you have just seen, Simply download from the link below. And if you love our content, simply hit the subscribe and like button to encourage us. Otherwise, I hope to see you soon at Achiever's Dream. My name is Jared. I'm the founder and principal of Achiever's Dream. And hope to see you soon. Goodbye.